guys, it's Josh again, and I am back for another gaming video. Today, I do have something pretty cool to bring you guys. I am looking forward to showing you guys this. So, I found out how to play Monster Hunter on this Meta Quest 2. It is not VR, but it is pretty cool, so that's why I want to share it with you guys. So, let's waste no time and get started. All you'll need for this is you need a computer that is able to run Steam and has access to Monster Hunter. Then you'll also need Virtual Desktop. Once you get started with Virtual Desktop, make sure that your computer is on and running, you have Virtual Desktop running, and then once you open it in the Quest, you should see this. You should see your PC. So once you get your PC up and your screen looks like this, this is what Virtual Desktop looks like. You're able to really look around and immerse yourself into a custom environment, which I'll get more into into a sec. Um, you press the menu button, and then this opens the menu for Virtual Desktop, and this allows you to pick your custom environment. They have lots of options in this video. I will show you guys two different options, starting out the first one, which will be the home theater. Now, these are pretty different experiences, which is really cool. Like, these environments literally feel so different. The screens are different sizes, and they feel really unique. As you can see, I'm in this movie theater now able to play monster hunter with no delay and everything and it is such a cool experience but honestly this next environment is even cooler this is a virtual apartment as you guys can see there's a virtual window a virtual tv and a literal virtual monitor right in front of me the best part about this in my opinion is honestly just how smooth it is and how there's no delay with anything at all but along with that these immersive environments are such a nice touch so with no further ado, let's see how Monster Hunter runs on this. I do apologize if my recording isn't really centered towards the camera. I'm just getting used to now that the camera on the Quest is a little higher up than where the eyes are. So that's why you might not be getting a full view of the screen. Um, but as you guys can see, this is literally Monster Hunter. I am able to play Monster Hunter in this virtual reality, in this virtual desktop, in this apartment. The way I'm playing this too is I have an Xbox controller synced up to my PC. So this allows me to basically go anywhere in my house that's connected to my Wi-Fi, able to wear these goggles and to be into this virtual apartment. And I can play basically anywhere I want. So this allows me to lay on the couch and look up and play. Uh, I could go outside and play. I could really play anywhere. Now, a big piece of advice to you guys, if you want a smooth gameplay experience like I'm having, like with no delays and everything looks smooth, everything's running at pretty high settings, I highly suggest that you use an ethernet cable to connect your PC to your router. That will make your experience a lot better and that is a huge reason why this looks as smooth as it does. Um, I am so excited about this though. It's kind of surreal to think that I am playing Monster Hunter in virtual reality in this simulated apartment with this beautiful sunset and it's just surreal also so if you guys see on my channel i made a let's talk and hunt 2. the reason i'm bringing that up is because i did that entire recording through this so i played that entire hunt in this vr i didn't use this exact background i actually used the background that i'm going to show you guys shortly now i'll actually show you guys what i played in there's a few options that allow you guys to actually have some customization so that's either like the black void the pass through or kind of these environments that are a lot more open-ended and don't have as much to it this allows you to really customize your screen first off headlock will basically lock it in where your eyes are so you can move and the screen will follow your eyes I'm not really sure what transparency is, so I'll skip that. But this next reset view is really convenient too. Um, along with that, you can manipulate the height up and down, and you can even manipulate the distance that it is away from you. Now, this one is a little wonky for me, the distance, so I don't use it too much. But another cool feature is you are able to manipulate the curve on your screen. So you can either choose to keep it flat or add a curve, which is super cool. I like adding a curve. And then my favorite of all settings is just the size. You can make the screen huge if you want. You can make it really small. I actually really enjoyed playing on a smaller screen because it was so smooth 
and I just personally really enjoyed it, maybe because I'm used to playing on my laptop. But again, the convenience of being able to lay in bed with my head on the pillow, looking up at the ceiling and being able to play this is pretty mind blowing. And then along with that, with absolutely no hinder to the performance is a no brainer. So if you guys have a PC, if you guys have a Quest, get virtual desktop, give this a shot. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. So as you guys can see, I am back here in my home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you either found it entertaining or valuable or both. And I also hope you guys are liking my new content, uh, basically that involves VR because I am really enjoying it. If there is anything specifically you guys would like to see, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.